Just in 10 seconds. Hey, it's Cam Cronin here at the HR McMillan Space Center for the Express. People come down and they often ask us a, a couple of questions. One, what's the difference between a soft taco and a burrito? And the other is, why do stars seem to be brighter than planets? So I brought uh, Reminder in to explain the difference basically between a star and a planet in the nighttime sky and some other elements about why we can see these things. So stars generate their own light. They have their own light sources. So like a flashlight. Exactly, so this flashlight is like a star. It creates its own light. Planets, on the other hand, are more like mirrors. They reflect light. And this, is, this would go the same for moons or our moon or anything. Exactly, our moon is just reflecting sunlight down to the Earth. So if we look uh, at, at, say, uh, our moon, um, if we didn't have any sunlight on it, you wouldn't actually even know it was there. Right? Exactly, if the sun was to go dark, for some mysterious reasons. <laughs> Which we hope it doesn't. No, yeah. um, the moon would be dark as well. But is that why it's so difficult to see like a planet like uh, Pluto? It's not generating its own light, and Pluto is not uh, a very so, reflective surface. Exactly, Pluto is a very dark surface. It's got a lot of dark ice on the surface, and that's why it's not reflecting that much light back to us, so that's why it's very faint. You were actually mentioning to me before, as well as the concept of twinkling, the light and the atmosphere, so exactly. one twinkles, one doesn't? So stars, well, we always see them twinkling. It's beautiful. And there's, there's nursery rhymes about them too. Yes. yes. Uh, but uh, planets, they don't twinkle. And the reason is, um, they're very close to us. Uh, so the planets, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn. Yeah, relatively um, close to us as yes, far as, yeah. They're very close to us. So when we see them through our telescope, we don't see a pinpoint of light we are actually seeing a surface, a disk of light. And for our atmosphere to, say, scatter and create that twinkling, it's a lot more difficult uh, for a lot of light as opposed to a pinpoint of light. Right, so stars are so much farther away that we're actually just seeing, we're just seeing some of that light that's, that's reaching us. We're not actually able to see the disk of a star or anything like that. Exactly. Okay, all right, cool, cool. So if you are down uh, in our area in Vanier Park on a Friday or Saturday night this summer or a Saturday night any time of the year. You can actually come down and have a look through our telescope and talk to one of our astronomers anytime after about 8 o'clock at night and we can show you the difference between those planets, uh, the moons, the stars, the way that they uh, generate that light, the stars, and the way that that light is given to those planets and moons which allow us to actually see them. Without that, the night sky would be uh, pretty boring. Yeah. Cool. Uh, for the Express here at the HR McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samara. And remember, when you're twinkling, always lift up the toilet seat.